guys and welcome back to another vlog. Today it's going to be a little bit different. I don't know if this is going to be everyone's cup of tea, but today we are going drag racing. Very excited. So it's a very big aspect of my life that I don't really think I've mentioned too much because I haven't had the opportunity to go last year because of COVID. And now that everything's opening up and there's events on again, we can actually go and show you guys what we do as a family. So my family own a race car. Her name is Betsy. She is a 1970 Holden H. G. Monaro. And when my dad originally got her, she was red. Thank God she's white. It's much nicer. But we're going to race the Monaro today. My mum is actually racing in an event called QDRC, which stands for Queensland Drag Racing Championship. My entire life has revolved around cars. My parents are very, very into cars. All of their family friends as well. I don't think I can name one of my family friends that isn't a drag racer. No, I can't. My dad raced for most of my childhood. My mum did here and there. But I think for the last couple of years, my mum's raced the Monaro in what they call a street series, which is like just a different type of event they run throughout the year. And this year she's racing QDRC, like I mentioned. So she's guaranteed a certain amount of races and they have testing in the morning and then they race in the evening. But I do believe this weekend is a little bit different because they do have some faster cars out there. So it'll be a little bit more exciting, but it is forecast to rain and it's very cloudy. We were supposed to go to QDRC last month, but it was completely rained out and it's supposed to rain at about one or two o'clock when we're supposed to get out there today. So I'm going to be very upset if it rains because <laughs> the next one isn't until August. So fingers crossed it doesn't rain today and we actually get to watch everyone race. But today should be really fun. I haven't been out to the drags in pretty much a year because of COVID. They did have some events on at like the end of last year, start of this year. But with work, it was always on when I was working or as I was finishing work and I couldn't go. So first time I'm being back in ages. I'm all dressed and ready to go. I'm about to go to the hairdresser. Hayden is at a PT session at the moment. So he should be back at about 10 o'clock. And my hairdressing appointment is at 10. So he should be out there hopefully about 12 o'clock before it rains. And hopefully it doesn't rain. But I'm very excited. This is my OOTD. My dad and I are matching shirts today. It has a giant corn. <laughs> and it has a really big corn on the back. So this is my outfit today. And I believe my dad brought me a hat. I'm very excited about it. So dad and I are matching. I'll have to put on my docks when I go out there as well. And Hayden is going to be wearing his Winter Nat shirt. When was this? 51st Winter National, so 2018. This is what he's wearing when he gets back. Hayden's dressed and ready to go. I do have a jumper. It is my Andrew jumper from when Andrew was a thing, like 10 years ago. But it's nice and toasty. Hayden's got his jumper. Ready to go. It's not drag racing band, uh, branded. No, you they'll need to get a drag one. If I put it on, they'll, they'll kill me. You, well, I have a winner. That's one you can have. They'll swarm me. Oh my god. <laughs>
Look at that. That looks great like that. <laughs> Absolutely not. My face is so red. What do you reckon? Try it on. Oh yeah. That's good. Try the hat on. Ah, it looks good on you. I look Amish. Thanks. No, I'm on here. Oh, I've got it on me. Yeah, it's on the corn shirt. You've corned it. I can't reach in the back. Right. You're welcome, Ian. Sure. That's way too small. Yeah, no, it seriously says pink popper on your car. I bet you rode on my car. Yeah, I did. You're a grub. Yeah, look, here's You're the evidence. Uh, <laughs> don't look! Mum's done her second qualifier. So hopefully we're about to do her first run. We're listening to Terry on the radio if you can hear that. But I thought I would explain how it actually works so it makes sense when you're watching it. Okay, so drag racing, there are two lanes and two cars and then they line up one in each lane and then there is what they call a Christmas tree which is the tree of lights in between them. There is a pre-stage, which is the first beam, and then there's a stage, which is the second beam. And when both cars are staged, then they send the lights and they go. That is how it works. Mike, it's a 108 to the 60.
Nitro Methane, that's the good one.